things I would have done differently, but I'm going to there. Yeah. Uh, there's the large windowscape. Yeah, beautiful. So everybody who's seen it loves the idea of having the nice big windows to be able to view what's going on. And uh, plus, like I say, it will, it will definitely let in the heat and stuff like that. So, as well as a lot of light, as you can see. And then I painted it white on the inside, so it should help with keeping the interior light. Yeah, a lot of people just don't like the the pine like Jay uses and yeah. stuff. It's interesting to hear everybody's different opinions. Yeah, some some people don't like the tongue and groove. Some do. Uh, it can get a little expensive and a little um, hard to put in sometimes, mm -hmm. but that, that's okay. I mean, you know, yeah. for, for whatever right. everybody wants. So what I did instead is over the top of the uh, over the top of the insulation, I have just regular thin plywood panels that I've installed, and then I to trim it up, I've used pine in this case. And I stained it with uh, amber shellac to give it the nice yellowish color. That's the heater for outside. Obviously, when it's in use, the radio won't sit on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep yourself entertained while you're yeah. working. Yeah. yeah, that's an important point. The cabinets are built out of plywood uh, with the doors I made all. Again, using the pine and the same paneling that I did for the roof and walls and everything else. And so there's quite a bit of storage space yes. in here. Wow. When you get to looking at everything. Part of my electrical setup, this actually holds the wiring that runs all the way to the back for the porch light. The light up here, the light underneath the cabinets, as well as the electricity here. And I have two here that are based on the inverter. Okay. So when I'm somewhere else and I have to use the inverter to run anything that's 110 volt, I can. The gray one here is for shore power. So anytime I'm plugged into electricity, I just plug in anything into the gray and I won't be using anything off the batteries or anything else. Regular RV oven stove, runs on propane, and uh, don't have the propane hooked up at the moment. I'm trying to conserve that a little bit. No, <laughs> no reason to no do, reason that. To yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Got the sink hooked up, ready to go. Has a regular pump, RV pump underneath the okay. cabinets here. The uh, one of those learning experiences. I used the PEX tubing for the uh, water, and at, I used a lot of the elbow joints and things like that that they have at the RV stores. Uh -huh. As I found out later, PEX was actually meant to be bent too, oh. but the stuff I have, I'll show you, it's, it's really, really tough or really strong. You, you kind of need to actually warm it up, I guess, a little bit, bend it, uh -huh. and it'll keep it shape. But anyway, so when, when you look at some of my stuff in here, if you look at some of the old pictures, you'll see it looks like a little Rubik's Cube or excuse me, Rube Goldberg invention and with all the plumbing and stuff around here. Underneath here are the tanks. And there's a little door latch I need to get in there so I can be able to turn them on and off. I have one for each tank. There's one tank under here, one tank under here. They're 15 gallons each. So that'll be quite a bit of water. Yeah. Then there's storage under each of the benches. This one here, it's hard to see, but back in here is all the various plumbing and another cutoff switch, also a drain out there. And then all the plumbing runs right underneath this step here, comes up here, splits off to go to the shower or to the sink. Okay. And so the, the reason this floor is raised back here is so that the plumbing and the electrical can run underneath of it. Okay. Made it a little easier. Yeah. Also, the gas line. Can't see it really, but the gas line runs underneath the cabinets, and then there is the outlet for the stove, and then there's the one for the heater as well.
And uh, underneath here is the hot water tank. Again, Harpy. It's a six gallon tank. Wasn't going to use one at first, but because uh, I didn't see there a need to keep heating water to just sit there. Mm -hmm. But a uh, couple problems with the, uh, at least at the time, the uh, instant on. One thing is that they needed a, I guess, a lot of ventilation space. Uh -huh. Another thing was that they, uh, uh, very expensive. <laughs> right. They're about two to three times the price of the uh, they RV are. tank. Okay. Because I know Bill Castrinos with tortoiseshell homes uses them. Yeah. And he mounts them on the outside of the structure. Yeah. And because so, they, they because have of the have ventilation. Yeah. yeah. So rather than do that, is it easier to put in the RV tank instead? Right. And like I say, it's about half to a third the cost of the uh, of those. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. To cover up the tanks, I also built in so that there's little storage in all the different tops along here. Every space has uh -huh. has a little storage area. So it just gives me extra storage. Besides, underneath here, under here, this one has no storage, but it also has a way to see the uh, electrical and the plumbing. Wow. Those are the the big tubes are the uh, fill van or the fill pipe for the uh, tanks, and then the electrical for the lights runs along the side here and goes up each column for the lights. The columns. That was one of the little things I did. They're actually yeah. movable if I need to ever get in there and fix the electric for some reason. That's wise. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was one one yeah. of the things that I did. This little heater needs to go off because it's plenty warm in here now. Those are great little heaters. We have one that my daughter uses in her room. <laughs> yeah, they, they, work, they work great. It takes a while. You, know, you don't get the instant heat like yeah. you do with hot air, but at the same time, once they get going, they feel a lot better and they'll just keep going for very little. Right. Uh, let's see, other little funny things. This cabinet is actually two parts. It's this part here for the kitchen area. The top part is closed and it's open on the other oh, side, okay. so it's storage up up above for the uh, loft area. I have a 12 volt plug here and for a little fan that I can oh, then attach. Okay.